A moment of silence interrupted Wednesday during a vigil in Columbia City. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve was there. And tonight, she talked with those responsible for that disruption. She's live at the Whitley County Courthouse for us. Hi, Carly. Linda, Wednesday night, people gathered right here around this gazebo for a vigil in remembrance of George Floyd. Now, during that vigil, there was a moment, eight minutes and 46 seconds of silence for the time Floyd was held down in Minneapolis. That moment of silence was disrupted by several people driving by, honking and yelling while displaying Confederate flags. But today, those drivers came forward to give an apology. The protesting is okay. That's So far, it seems like it's made a difference because after that incident, I've kind of changed my look and I deeply want to apologize to everybody that I affected and I take full responsibility for everything that I said and everything that happened and... Each of them apologized and I speak for myself. A white lady from Whitley County, I don't speak for people of color or anybody else who may have had other feelings. But for me, I just was so grateful that they reached out because I felt like it was an opportunity to maybe make some change on a personal level. And, and apologized to CART tonight. They tell me they did not know it was a vigil or a moment of silence. And they immediately took down their flags and reached out to say sorry once they found out. They also tell me they will be attending protests this weekend to try to apologize to some more people. Again, reporting live from the Whitley County Courthouse, Carly Van Cleve.